now we're going to be moving on to this this Esper deck, Fairy Schemes. Alrighty, I'm very, very excited to check out this deck. Um, now, I will say this, I hate, 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 hate control. So I, I'm gonna feel very ashamed in playing this because I already know it's a control deck. I, I've already seen it as an action. Um, but it's an artifact deck and I'm a huge fan of trying to get some artifacts to work. I never end up getting the artifact cards of a set. Like the game just never, you know, never gives me the artifact cards. Um, but here, here the game's saying here, have have everything you want and need already off the bat. So that's that's nice. So Alela, Alela, I don't know. Artful Provocateur. A legendary creature. It's a fairy. It's a fairy warlock. There we go. It's sort of scrolled and I couldn't read it anymore. Anyways, comes down with flying death touch lifelink for four mana in the Esper color scheme. Other creatures you control with flying get plus one plus zero. Seems strong. Uh, whenever you cast an artifact or enchantment spell, oh, 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 excuse me. create a 1 1 blue fairy creature token with flying, which is a super strong effect. I'll just go ahead and tell you now. Witching Well for 1 blue mana. Witching Well enters the battlefield. We scry 2. For 4 mana, we can sacrifice it and draw 2 cards, so it's fun. Bag of Holding, we've already seen. Scrapping Claws, we've already seen. Corridor Monitor. This is an artifact creature, another construct actually. Two mana for a 1 4. Whenever it enters the battlefield, untap target artifact or creature you control. It's a common. What do we expect? <laughs> All that glitters. Two mana enchantment or an enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus 1 plus 1 for each artifact and or enchantment you control. That seems kind of good. Ancestral Blade, we've seen before. Frogify is. <laughs> One of my favorite cards from the new set that I've seen thus far, just for the name and the art. Absolutely, absolutely love it. So, two mana enchanted creature. Enchanted creature loses all abilities and is a blue frog creature with base and power toughness 1-1. One, one. So, cool, cool, cool. Golden Egg. It's an artifact and it's a food, actually. So, when Golden Egg enters the battlefield, draw a card. And then for one mana, we can tap and sacrifice it and add one mana of any color. Or for two mana, we can tap and sacrifice it and add three life to our total. Guild Globe, we've already seen. Animating Fairy. Three mana. Does have an adventure. Three mana for the adventure as well. Bring bring to life. Target non-creature artifact you control. Becomes a zero, zero artifact creature. Put four plus one, plus one counters on it. So for three mana, we get a four, four artifact creature. And then for three more mana, we get a flying fairy. That seems kind of fun. We have Empyrean Eagle. Because I guess we're playing a whole lot of fairies and flying flying fairies right shine chaser three mana flying vigilance shine chaser gets plus one plus one as long as you control an artifact shine chaser gets plus one plus one as long as you control an enchantment okay so if you control an artifact and an enchantment this is a three three with flying and vigilance um that's not bad that's not bad at all shambling suit three mana zero three shambling suits power is equal to the number of artifacts and or enchantments you control <laughs> okay you know what's unfortunate? Cleansing Nova, boop, it's gone. Once this set drops, Cleansing Nova is gone. So that's, maybe that's why they're doing it. They're like, hey, we can finally do an artifact or enchantment based set again, right? Because they, they, there's no way you're going to be able to do that with Cleansing Nova out, right? Anyways, three mana. We have Mace of the Valiant, which we've, it's, it's in, uh, one or two of the other decks as well. Anyways, equipped creature gets plus one, plus one for each charge counter on mace and has vigilance. And whenever a creature enters the battlefield under our control, we're going to put a uh, charge counter on mace. So every time we put a creature down, this equipment gets stronger, which makes our creature stronger. So Prison Realm, a fun, fun bit of removal. Winged words for some card draw. Law mages, we've already seen that. Ooh. Heraldic Banner. Three mana artifact, as it enters the battlefield, choose a color. Creatures you control of the chosen color get plus one, plus zero, and we can tap and add mana of the chosen color. So what do we what do we want here? Blue? I think we want we would want to name blue here. Uh, mana geode, we've already seen. Arcanist Owl. Okay, so this is does every color set have one of these cards in it? I wonder. 
the like split color, right? So four mana, flying, three, three. Whenever it enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal an artifact or an enchantment from among them, put it into your hand, put the rest into the bottom of your library in a random order. Uh, angelic Exaltation we've seen, Conclave scene, Smothering Tide scene, Chemistry's, Kaya's, Massacre. None of those are new. Shimmer Dragon, this looks awesome. All right, so for six mana, five, six flying, as long as you control four more artifacts, Shimmer Dragon has Hexproof. Ooh, cool. Well, that seems fun. Tap two untapped artifacts you control. Draw a card. <laughs> We're going to be having fun with this card once once the whole set actually drops. So, Bloodsucked Altar, we've already seen. Banish into Fable. I, I like the names of these cards as well. Six mana instant. When I, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. When you cast this spell from your hand, copy it. If you find or if you control an artifact, then copy it. What? <clears throat> when you cast this spell from your hand, copy it. If you control an artifact, then copy it. If you okay, so you can copy it twice. That's why I was like, <laughs> what? What are you copying here? There's too many copies. Anyways, you may choose a new targets for the copies. Okay, return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. You create a 2-2 white knight creature token with vigilance. Okay, so... Six mana. You can return up to three permanents and create, you know, three, three tokens. And this is instant speed, so you do it on their end step. Return three creatures, whatever it may be. And then go in for the kill on your turn. This is maybe okay. I don't again. I don't know how effective enchantments and artifacts are going to be. Like how how long they'll actually be able to stay on the board come standard. But uh, yeah, it, uh, it seems like one of those cards that's like almost good. You know, you almost want to play it. I uh, you'll probably see it pop up in a deck or two here and there. Uh, Sephira, we've already seen plenty of. Workshop Elders. Seven mana, four, four, human artificer. Is it just me, or does this, like, the general cost of cards in this set seem, seem a bit higher? Uh, artifact creatures you control have flying. Okay, cool. That's reasonable. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may have target non-creature artifact you control become a zero, zero artifact creature. If you do, put four plus one plus one counters on it. Goodness. I mean, it is seven mana, but that's still a bomb effect, right? And then Emergency Zone is the other land that it gives us here, so. Alrighty, well, that's going to do it for, like, looking through the deck. Let's go ahead and hop into some matches, shall we? We shall. So this is fun. I'm really, really enjoying this, uh, this whole, whole thing. Oh, also, the video went live. Hey, hey, hey. Video is live. There's the link for everyone that wants to go watch it. Um, although, obviously, you know, I'm not recommending that you go watch that instead of being here, but it's there if you want to. Your opponent goes first. Okay. I'll keep it. We have some answers here. We have some answers. So I actually want to go ahead and get down this golden egg, because next turn I plan on turning it into a 4-4 creature. And laughing maniacally. <laughs> kind of like that, you know? Fireborn Knight. So we need, what, one more land? Alright, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. We can actually swing in with this too, yeah? Well, if we do, they're, they're dealing the floor right back to us. Alright, so never mind, no swing. No swing, we'll leave it as is. One more land, we'll be able to get our Layla down. Layla? Whatever, however you say it.
I really enjoy the new board too. This uh, I wish there's oh, not that. No, no. I wish there was more interactions back here in the background. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like. I'm desperately looking for things to click. <laughs> Alright, bottom 33. What you got for me? That smells like a trap. Alright. Hey, it's a trap. <laughs> but like, what, what else are we going to do there, you know? Not, not take the damage? Sure. I mean, it sounds fantastic in theory, but eventually they will play the response, right? Or they'll get all the way up to Resurgency, and then we'll seriously be in deep shit. So, I don't know. You, you can't play like a like a pussy, you know? You can't just not defend because you know they have a combat trick. Just, what is that? Why did that just light up? Does the field light up based on what we're playing? That seems like a terrible idea to block that. Could be wrong, you know. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so if we play this, we still have two mana, and we can also play Frogify. Play this, still play Frogify, right? We'll see. Mana Geode, give us that little fairy. Conclave, yeah, I'll keep Conclave on top. Absolutely. All right, yeah, so we can still play Frogify. That's fantastic. Frogify on the Fireborn Knight. And nothing else to really do, so we'll get down the tap land. And now I think we can just swing in freely, right? Boom! Give me that health, baby. A fireborn knight has been turned into a frog. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I really like this Esper deck. I feel like it's, uh, it's definitely one of the strongest. Probably one of the most fun as well. Trying out Savage Hunter deck. Yeah, that, that was actually the first one that I played as well. It, it just sounded dope, right? Savage Hunter. Yeah, that's me. I'll be a Savage Hunter. <laughs> uh, this deck seemed like it would be my favorite, but I whiffed over and over and over. Uh, well, hopefully we won't whiff over and over and over, you know? Hopefully that won't be the case. We do have Kai's Wrath, but I'm not, I'm not too huge of a fan of just guys rapping. We can Conclave Tribunal their Sky Knight, but I think it might be better to just Conclave Tribunal their, uh, their Knight there. Okay, well, let's get down Ancestral Blade. We'll spawn up another little, another little token. And we have Flyers. That's why I'm like, maybe we should just get rid of the Sky Knight, right? Because we, we have all Flyers. Get rid of them, it's just open access. All day, every day. Tell you what, let's get down another flyer. And we'll swing in with a Layla. Really? Well, I am, I am just so happy that we did not conclave that Sky Knight. I didn't, I didn't. Didn't even realize. <laughs> I guess that's why you wait till after you attack to do thing. Is there new lands? Yes, there are some new lands. Uh, my laptop got stolen, so I'm using an older uh, i5, and Brawl is barely playable with everything else closed. Oh man, that's rough. That that whole situation is rough. And yeah, I imagine like. Okay, so they're really not doing people favors that have slower computers because they're adding in all this stuff like the cats. Like, you can't disable your opponent's cats, which is... That's kind of ridiculous to me, if, like, if you ask me. Because it's, it's cosmetics for your opponents, but it can slow down your computer, right? So, like, I, I don't know. Some of the things in the game I wish they... Like, I wish they had more customizable... Uh, settings just just in general i think they need to do that so that people with worse computers can play empty arena and aren't like well you know hell i guess i'll stay on magic online because my computer can't run empty arena 
So yeah, no, I, I definitely understand that. I had the same computer, not this one, but the one that I had before this one. I had it for like four or five years. So like when I first got it, it was like, it was okay, you know? And getting a computer, like getting a computer when it's okay is not ever ideally what you want to do. You want to try and get a computer that's a little bit ahead because computers advance so quickly that it's like, you know, it's going to be... Okay, also we win this one. We just we just straight up win it. But meow meow. <laughs> yeah, right, right. But meow meow. Uh, completely. Uh, it's just... I don't know. I Like, here's the thing. I don't have a problem running the game. I get, my computer runs it fine, you know? But I know, I know there's a lot of people out there that... They, they would absolutely love to play the game, but they just don't have a computer that can run it. And that that's a sad feeling, you know? Alrighty. And we got Order of Midnight. So we've finally unlocked all, all of the cards that we can. They seem okay, like a like a, a decent little fair spread, right? Anyway, we're gonna go and hop into another match with this fairy with this fairy deck. I'm really enjoying it, so yeah, you know. Hell, we'll keep going. Um So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how I like the, the thumbnail for that video that I put up. Just seems a bit odd. What is today? <laughs> Wednesday? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. We have the Mana Geo to ramp us a little bit. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Venerable Knight. I've really got to get my sleep schedule back, back on track. <laughs> it's like so fucked right now. I'll put it this way: I was up till eight o'clock this morning, um, like trying. I was trying to work on something for the channel, like trying to work on. Uh, that was kind of thing. Trying to work on like channel art and that kind of stuff, you know. But sometimes I, I'll work all night on something, I'll be like, ah, oh, finally. Then I get done with it, and it's, it's legit terrible. You, you ever, y'all ever do that, you know? You, you don't have to be a content creator, but like, you're drawing, drawing a work of art, or like, whatever. And you're like, oh, I really want to like, really want to do this. And you like, start doing it, and you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you look at the end product, and you're like, what the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> I don't know, maybe it, it probably has a little bit to do with the fact that I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, right? Um, it's like everything I do, I'm like, <laughs> just want it to be right. It doesn't, not not a perfectionist in the sense that like, oh, if I'm playing Magic, I gotta play what's best, you know? I absolutely have to be the most efficient thing ever. But like, we're gonna go and get down to Layla. A Layla. I really like the animations for this, but that, see, that's another thing. Like, you should be able to turn off card art animation. I get it. It's cool magic. It makes your game so, so dope. But everyone that has a even slightly slower computer, you're fucking them. You're fucking them so hard. Why? Because you, you want to make a fairy appear and twirl around, you know? Yeah, it's cool, but necessary to play the game? No. And if it's not necessary to play the game, you should have a setting that you can remove it, right? That's my own personal opinions, but... I think we just fucking lose here, so let's just Kai's Wrath, right? Let's be that guy. It's like, oh, you, you were playing something, weren't ya? Weren't ya? I don't think there's anything we really want to discard here for Bag of Holding. <laughs> um, I'm not a huge fan of Bag of Holding. I was when it first came out, and I was like, maybe this could be good, maybe I can figure out a way to do it, but it just, just never did. Gee, what kind of set uh, do you have? I assume 
you've got a streaming card. No, actually, no, no streaming card. Um, my computer is a CyberPower, CyberPower PC. Uh, my brother and I, like two, three years ago, did the the whole back to school deal where they're like, you know, build your own PC. So uh, yeah, we we did that and built our own PCs and whatnot. Um, so the the PC has. I don't know. I'd have to look at the actual stats, but it's 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 pretty good. It's up to date for sure. I want to get some some creatures out there on the bag of holding. You're gonna be the creature because I'll you know if anything's gonna die, I'd rather be the bag than uh, my mana. But yeah, no no streaming card. Actually, I just use Streamlabs OBS to record my videos with. Um, so yeah, anybody looking to get into content creation, it's literally that easy. Streamlabs OBS. Same thing you use to stream on Twitch or whatever. It has a little record button down at the bottom of it. You just click the record button. You can, re you can record in 1980 by 1920 by 1080p. Uh, you can record your display screen. You can record games. Like it's Streamlabs literally does it all for you now, and it's free. That's that's like the the biggest kicker of it all, right? And then I just use a, a free video editing software as well because, you know, when I started this, I wasn't like uh, I wasn't going to spend money to make things better. And now that I've used the software for so long, I'm like. I don't want to try a different software, you know? <laughs> this is not what I want to do. Alright, Alela. Alela. You do your thing, baby. You stay on that board. Hold down the fort. I want to get this enchantment down so I can use Vanish into Fable, like, fully. Is it greedy? Yeah. Yes, it's greedy. But, you know, when, when am I not greedy? Oh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I see, I see, I see. I'm gonna lose some life here. Um, you just sack out the bag of Pullman? No, no, we just take that three damage. We're a man, we can take it. We need to get rid of the Knight's Charge. Do they have enough mana for that? Four, seven? Not quite. Not quite. And they also only have two knights to return, right? So, that's good. Um, if we exile their sired win, what happens? <laughs> you know? Like, what, what's up with that? Actually, let's, let's law mage it so it doesn't even leave the, leave the field. I don't care about the attack effect it has. Really, really don't. Creature or planeswalker? I guess we can exile the... Foul near night. Our fairies are getting fucking huge. So yeah, this way they literally can't do anything. Emergency zone. Eh, I don't think we need it. I do not think we need it. So now we all attack. Boom, boom, boom. We have some defenders. We gain some life. They literally can't attack. Feels good. I, I, I smell a sweep. A, a sweep. I smell a scoop coming along. A sweep. Oh, single combat. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, right, right, right. Player can't cast creature or spells. Okay, I, I got an idea here. I have an idea. Uh -huh. So we have an enchantment and we have artifact down still, which is fantastic for us because we're about to we're about to bounce their shit like a bouncy house. That was a terrible joke, absolutely terrible. <laughs> Sometimes I set myself up for a world class like fantastic joke, and it turns out so terrible, so so terrible. What you got for me, bro? Brochacho? Brochero? Bro... Do I want to return the Law Mages and then I can just play it right back on them? 
I think so. So that. And that. Did I, did I target that? I want that. I don't know, did I just try and bounce it three different times? I did. Oh, that, that was a mistake. I'm sorry. It didn't, like, show me doing it the second time. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Alright, but yeah, so we go ahead and throw that back down on there, right? We literally just did that for the, the creature. Um, sure. We're doing a Sean, a Sean Chaser. Get in some more damage. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I don't know. This this deck is really fun. Um, that's just because you hold yourself to a high standard. Yeah, I, I really do. I, <laughs> I hold myself to sometimes too high of a standard to where it actually affects my work. Like sometimes, or sometimes, I say it like it happens often, but it really doesn't. But like in the past, I've I've not gotten a video out on a day simply because I was like, no, this video like it's not it's not good enough, you know. So well, it, it happens, you know, it happens. Let's get down this creature, this creature. And let's use our evolving walls. What do we need? We have two black, two blue. I guess we want two planes. I don't Time wop? Yeah, time wop. Oh, we have the mana geode, so I guess it really like legit doesn't even matter. Um Yeah. <laughs> they have three health left. This is lethal. Fun, 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 fun. Uh you're right, Reddit should be petitioning for better optimization instead of freaking out over the wildcard situation. Yeah, people people freak out on, on like some of the... I, I don't know, I feel like the wild cards are maybe, maybe not fun, you know? Maybe not fun, but at least like acceptable. At least they finally give us something back. Granted, it's still only 20 gems, so that's like a, a fucking kick in the face, but uh... You know, it's something. Whereas with the optimization, yeah, they, they haven't touched the the settings since I started playing. And that's that's a bit much, you know? A year, a whole year, not touching a single setting option. Hell, Minecraft changed their settings, you know? <laughs> Anyways. White Tiger Woods. <sighs> Alrighty. Um, if you bounce the, that, they will recast it and re-equip for zero. Ah, I read that a little bit late. <laughs> How much of a delay is there on YouTube's chat? Seems like it's quite a bit. Okay, so here's the thing. <clears throat> um, one, yes, it is it is quite a bit, especially compared to Twitch. It's like, YouTube's is like a whole two minutes, something like that. Um, at least that's what I've experienced. They do have a low latency option, but like... I don't want to select that and then go into my stream and literally the whole stream is laggy because I, I tried to do the latency. So maybe in the future, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, um, <clears throat> I'll actually try that out. So, but yeah, YouTube's normal latency, it's, it's kind of trash, kind of fucking trash, especially considering, considering you have things like Mixer, which they're, their latency is literally so fucking low, like, I can play a game of Magic while watching my own stream, if that makes sense. So, and without, like, without ever missing a beat, without hitting a, a hiccup once, so. I, I just, I don't know. They're, they're, but here, here's the thing, okay? My, uh, my mom, whenever we were growing up, she was always, you know, not, and not in a douchey way, but in a parent way, you know? She was always like pointing out what we got wrong. You know, hey, you know, there's something wrong with this. And the thing is, she wouldn't tell us what was wrong. She would tell us like where the problem was. Like if you brought her, our, you know, math homework, she'd be like, okay, you got a problem wrong on this side of the page, you know? But she wouldn't tell us what problem. So we'd have to go back through and, you know, read all the problems and figure out which one we got wrong. Um, but so I feel like like I, I'm looking for things that are wrong nowadays, right? I'm looking for the smaller details that I can like, hey, this needs to be improved. But it's it's also kind of just ingrained in me, so I don't mean to do it. You know, I'm not constantly trying to insult people or saying that they that I could have done a better job by any means. You know, because I don't I don't even know coding, not like that. <laughs> Once upon a time, I could have coded, you know, a little simple calculator, but. 
not nothing to this proportion so I, I just don't want people getting offended whenever I'm like oh yeah I think this could be better and then they're like chance shut up you don't know how to do anything no, no, I, that's true <laughs> that's true I don't uh, I don't really want any more lands game they just let us have their two lane Oh, scrapping quarrel. No, no. I don't I actually don't want to play that. I'd rather get the Layla down next turn and then play it. So we get a we get a little creature. Um yo, so I just got a phone call by someone and their first words were, Hello, don't hang up. <laughs> but what that would that would just make me want to hang up, right? Like not even hear the rest of the story. Wait, wait, don't hang up. Oh, I'm sorry, are you saying something? Okay, earlier, this thing flashed red. I have no idea why. Like, I cannot figure out this map board. Like, I don't know what the special catch with it is. Run away together. Come sail away. Come sail away. Come sail away with me. I don't know why that made me think of this song, but, you know, there's that for any of you that are just itching for a... Seems pretty bad. <laughs> I'm gonna make you exile your entire graveyard. <laughs> have two cards? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like how did they have two cards in exile? Roy, 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 Roy. Oh, and now they play it right back on me, huh? Well, I'm not gonna let you exile mine. I'm not. Hmm. Nope. I don't think so. We get one copy, and you're gonna. And choose to leave yours under my prison room. Come sail away, come sail away. Mm -hmm. So what are we looking for here? This is gonna cost us six mana now. We have five. We can get her back down next turn. I think we're we're going to do that as well. Just just play her right back down, right? Show them who's boss. So we will not be held down. We will not be held back. And uh, you're gonna take this two damage to the face, to the face, to the face. Anybody ever used to watch Tabe? He he was an old time uh, Call of Duty content creator. I feel I feel like I'm an old man as far as like YouTube goes. Does that make sense? Because I've been watching YouTube legit and like content comment <laughs> content creators and commentaries like since since I can remember, you know. So it makes me feel like an old man whenever I'm like, oh yeah, I remember when this was a thing. People are like, what are you talking about, Chance? <laughs> sorry, sorry, I watched YouTube back when back when a million subs was special. <laughs> um, which is kind of crazy to think about, right? Like how numb people have gotten to like a million subscribers, you know? Like, seeing a channel with a million subs really isn't that, like, <gasps> anymore. Because there's, there's tons of them. There's, there's, like, yoga channels with a million subs. You're know, like, what the fuck? Shit just seems crazy to me, you know? And again, maybe it's because I've been, like, I've watched YouTube and been a part of the YouTube community for so, so long that's, that it feels like that, right? Who knows, though? Who knows? And Jug Exaltation is gonna be so spicy with our Layla. Just just so we're all clear. Um don't we obviously don't have anything to say. Yeah, right? That's what I'm it, it sounds like they were just trying to prank you, Arrow. Or maybe they were trying to prank someone else. Because like if if I answer or if I like I'm calling someone and my first words that are running through my head is, hey, don't hang up. It's it's probably a loved one, right? That I'm like, hey, uh, this is an emergency. You know, I need you right now. In which case, they're going to answer because it's a family member calling. Or eh, maybe the police. You know, hey, don't hang up on me. I got an emergency. But I don't ever see me saying my, like saying that to anyone. Hey, don't hang up. Great stream today. I got to go sleep now, though. Keep it the good work. Good night, everyone. Yeah, Soul Leader. Take it easy, man. I forget you're over, uh, you're over in Germany, so the... 
the toms are just all all backwards. Oh no, still playing Hydra. Fuck. <clears throat> really? That's the card you're choosing to to attack? I don't know there. I think I would have taken out my uh, my commander, given the option. Right, so if we play this, we can play the planes and still play the chemistry in sight. So that sounds fantastic, fantastico. We can also still sacrifice the witching well, the witching, not the wishing, the witching. Alright, let's get in there with a whole lot of damage. Well, not a whole lot. But, you know, five, five health is not anything to sneeze at. And we'll, we'll draw cards come their turns, because we, we don't really have a need to draw cards right now. Oh, okay, I see, I see. They finally got their, uh, their commander back. Well, that's not good. Really? Why are they not killing my Layla with their their Thorn Mammoth? It just seems a bit odd, you know? I think I am going to Conclave the Thorn Mammoth, by the way, because that, that card is just too strong. Or maybe I have to Conclave the Steel Bane, because if I don't, they're going to destroy my Conclave, right? That's kind of that's kind of nice. Like I said, Steel Bane Hydra could actually be like a, a fucking card to reckon with, right? Thorn Mammoth, it, it's just going off right here, but... <clears throat> Steelbane Hydra is, is really the card that, like, is to be feared here. Cool, 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 cool. So they basically, uh, fucked me up all in one, all in one go. It's the same voice every time. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're, they're definitely pranking you. Alright, so we just got our asses handed to us, actually, by this... This same bond deck that earlier I was like, oh, this deck sucks. Because we were losing to this Esper deck. <laughs> yeah, I love when the, the cards are flipped around and I literally lose to the deck that I was playing earlier that lost to this deck. Makes you feel good, right? Makes you feel really, really good about yourself. Just like, absolutely head over heels, I'm doing what's right, right? Anywho, we're definitely gonna mortify that fucking Stillbane because fuck that card, right? I'm not even, not even going for the instant speed. Just get it the fuck out of here. <laughs> Actually, just leave my board, sir. I would love to still get the Layla down, but it's very costly, very very costly. So we're gonna instead just go and go for the Conclave. I guess we're taking their commander again. I don't know. I think. I think Keeper of Fables would have been a fine, fine card to apprehend as well, but... Oh, well. <clears throat> We're still at 22 health. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. I forgot you were streaming. Yep, it's Wednesday. I've been trying to, been trying my best to stick to my schedule. And, you know, Wednesdays are Magic, Thursdays are, you know, whatever I want to play, whatever tickles my fancy for the day, as they say. Hand raise. Okay, so that that's that's just a GG. I'm not gonna, you know, fuck them. <laughs> People are playing too slow anyways. Alright, so that's going to do it for the Fairy Schemes deck as well. Um, yeah, it was fun. Probably my most favorite.